leading the operation in the company of some NNPC officials. The commander of NNS Patfanda, Komodo Suleiman Ibrahim, raises concern that the country is losing so much from the activities of oil thieves on a daily basis. He expresses shock that those engaged in illegal activities are highly skilled people. Way, way, way beyond what I've seen anywhere. The sophistication is outside this world. You know, the individuals involved, they've taken their time, you know, they've done a lot of measurements, they've done welding on site. And um, I think we are already doing something, you know, we're tracking the people involved, but I wouldn't want to disclose how far we've gone so that um, we don't um, just let the cat out of the sack. But I want to assure the general public that all of those involved in this illegal activity would um, be arrested and they would definitely have their day in court. Highlighting the successes of his command, the commander of NNS Patfanda attributes them to the use of air surveillance approved by the chief of naval staff. He says the team, while heading to disconnect the illegal oil pipes, also intercepted four persons with products suspected to be illegally refined diesel in a wooden cotonou boat. Some of the kingpins, the call, them as I said earlier, we don't work by ourselves. All arrests that are made, the Navy does not have that you know, prosecuting powers. So we have to hand over to um, agencies that are charged with prosecuting. But um, we try as much as possible to monitor the court process to ensure that um, the needful is done. Meanwhile, the four persons arrested during the operation confessed they were contracted to deliver the illegally refined products in Port Harcourt from the southern Ijaluku government area of Bayasu states. Monica Ogwa, Silverbed, News 24, Port Harcourt.